I risked our safety bringing you all the way out here into China Food Town in order to have a man-to-man -man talk. Now, I know things have been a little rough over the past few months, what with your mother's unreasonable behavior and her coldness towards me. No, don't say anything. You and Shapey are still young, needy, impressionable children. So your mother and I have decided to stay together, if only for appearances. The last thing we want people to think is that we don't care about our own kids. That's one fact that is none of their business. I prayed that you'd get back together. Well, I think you can give me credit for this one. Oh, we should get going. Gosh, you're right. Mom and Shapey must be getting restless. Mine, 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 mine. Why is China Food Town so far on the outskirts of Moralton, Dad? It's only deliciously far. Foreignly, it's actually too close. Well, if you ask me, which you never do, I'd say that God wants different people to be separated from us, Oral. That's why he put Europe all the way over wherever he put it. That's right. But that doesn't mean you can't get a rush of fun fear by getting dangerously close now and then. Kind of like a roller coaster? Uh-huh. Speaking of which, here we go! We were all made in God's image. What does that phrase really mean? I mean, if an ugly, fat lady is made in God's image, then how can a stuck-up, pretty lady also be made in God's image? Well, look, it's not rocket science. The answer's simple. Some people look more like God than others, and we, as Protestants, are definitely in the lead in that department. What with our wonderful Anglo-Saxon righteous features and our, uh, 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 and, well, I guess that's it, really. So, amen. Amen. Hey, Oral, want to play with Billy, me, Joe, mm. him, and Tommy? Come on, Billy. Idle hands are the devil's feet. Those cats aren't going to clean themselves. You sure do work hard, Mr. Figarelli. Hey, there's three things we Figarellis do. We work hard, we love God, and we wish there was a third thing. Dad, can I play just this once? No prob, Billy. But be home by three. Remember, we have to wash all the non three o'clock parts of the clock. No prob, Dad. Thanks. I clean cats on my day off. I clean cats on my day off. Playing is fun. What should we play? Let's play church. Church? church. Yeah. How about dodge glass? <clears throat> Yay, you cut your hand in the glass just like I wanted you to. <laughs> Joe, that wasn't very nice. Oh, I'm bleeding. Fear not, my brother. Just ask and the Lord will provide. Hmm, that bandage doesn't seem to be working, does it, Billy? Sure it does. I feel better already. Yeah, but it doesn't match your skin. Maybe I bought the wrong kind. Huh. Hmm. Yo! Oh. oh. Hmm. Ow! 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 <laughs> hey! Oh, wow. Hey, oh. big deal. Yep, nothing wrong with the bandages. Um, could I have it back now? God wants different people to be separated from us, Oral. Some people look more like God than others. 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 I think I should hang on to this. Some people look more like God than others, and we, as Protestants, are definitely in the lead in that department. Come in. Reverend Putty, can I talk to you for a second? No prob. Come on, Billy. Who, me? No prob. Thanks, Oral. Figarelli's back of the bus. No, no problem. problem. Hey, that's a, thanks, Oral. Thanks, Oral. <laughs> Sorry, no figures allowed. No problem. And we prefer the term figros. Will you shut up? We do not. Um, I need a little backup. We got a race riot brewing here. <laughs> Hey, 
Houston is. Thanks, Oral. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special report. The Moralton Segregation Initiative has succeeded in sequestering the Figurellis to their own separate public bathrooms, their own five-star restaurant, and are soon to be segregated into a 12-room luxury dream house on the outskirts of Moralton, just so they know their place. Extry! Extry! Figarelli's relegated to their own nationally syndicated newspaper. Read all about us. Extry! Dreidel, 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 she just made it out of clay. Dreidel, 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 then made water into wine. Yay! There you go, Mr. Christine. Thanks, Figarelli. I just don't know how to work the lights on Friday nights yet. Ah, uh, no prob. You'll get the hang of it. Figarelli. I see these townspeople caught up in all this segregation, Michigas. Oy, it reminds me of King Herod when he caught Spilkus because of our Lord and Savior. Huh? You know, it starts with the stereotyping and ends with the kaput. What? That's ridiculous. Listen, you can stow away in my good Christian attic. We'll hide you like Easter eggs. Ah, uh, no way, Hosea. Why not? Didn't Simon have the chutzpah to help Jesus when he was schlepping that fakak the cross? No, thanks, Christine. Jesus will take care of me. Amen. I mean, amen. Uh, oh, works for both. See you next Friday. Dirty figure. Lousy Jew. Eh, for Jesus. Wiggarellis. No prob. No prob. No prob. No prob. You're not Figurellis! No prob. No prob. No prob. This just shouldn't be. I mean, these are our kids. All our lives we've worked and slaved to keep them from humiliating us. And this is what we get? A bunch of... Figure lovers! Well, the kids call them Wiggarellis. It means white Figurellis. Well, I call them Wiggarellis. Worthless Figurellis. This whole segregation thing has been an inconvenience from the start. And now it's affecting our precious society. Yay! A 30% increase in cat cleanliness, 58% increase in wondrously swept streets, round-the-clock enjoyable whistling tunes, and a no-prob attitude resulting in hundreds of youths volunteering for the remodeling of the town council building. What is happening to our community? Ah, uh, it's just propaganda. Everyone knows that the Jews for Jesus control the Moralton media. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Oh, well. You give a Figurelli an inch of discrimination and they take a yard. Next, they'll want their own separate book burnings, like the books I've deemed bad aren't good enough mm. for them. Someone <laughs> should teach these Figurellis a lesson. Holy smokles. Christine was right. What kind of lesson, big guy? Oh, I don't know, Danielle. I'm just so tense. Oh, come to Papa. Hush, little lammy bear. Close your furry lips. <clears throat> Where do these figures live? Uh, 623 Address Lane. Mm. Come on, everybody, in the attic. They'll never find us up here. Here, Susie, start writing in this diary. Why, Daddy? You know, uh, it's good for when you're dead. Lammy bear, lammy bear, kiss me good. Night. No prob. No prob. Hey! Thank goodness you're here. Oh, it's the Figurelli. Come on, let's go. Wait, my house! <laughs> Is there any hope? Well, looks like the only structures that won't be harmed are the church and the new Figurelli segregation dream home. Mm. How'd this whole Figurelli thing start, anyway? Reverend Putty, can I talk to you for a second? 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 Uh-huh. Town meeting at the church and bring your kid. Nope. Gee, Mr. Figurelli, this lamp is gonna look great in your new banishment mansion. Oral? Gee, Dad, I was just trying to separate them from us, like God wants us to do. I know, Oral. Your intentions were righteous, but it just so happens that this time, righteous 
was wrongous. Wow. You see, somehow you've turned things topsy-turvy, young man. You've made it inconvenient for the racists, not the racers. And at that point, why even discriminate? Yeah! yeah. So no more monkeying around with grown-up issues, young man. No prob. Oh, I mean, you got it, Dad. Atta boy. Now let's go eat. Who likes Italian? Oh, oh, that sounds good. Italians yeah. are great. Yeah.